we just all traveling through this very land. But on his way, he was saying, Lord, hold me. Hold me, Lord. In thy powerful hand. Feed me. Glory, hallelujah. We give honor to God to all the ministers on the rock of those that's in the order that well to the choir on the lawn to the bereaved family and to the whole household of faith. Just want to talk with you just for a little while. Don't want to hold your patient long, but I want to let, let us know that. Look what Brother Block has done. Yes. Yes. Pack civil block. Yes. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Just want to say these words from 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter. A few verses there. For we know that if our earthly house or this type of night was dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with him, eternal in heaven. For in this we room earth is designed to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. I want to talk a little bit about this world is not my home. Sisters yeah. yeah. and brothers, I just want you to know that the word of God says to be absent from the Bible is to be present. With the Lord. I, I'm not here to put Brother Block in heaven or hell. I'm here to let you know, better that if you plan it on sin, Brother Block again, you better get your house in order. Time is winding up and it's getting late in the evening. We got to know that this world is not our home. Talking fellowship at one with another. Three o'clock, I got a phone call. You need to come to the hospital. Never thought that you could be gone. But let me tell you that the Lord has the last say. It's not up to us. Boy, let me tell you something. The word of God said that. He give us children to love, but they belong to him. All of us belong to the Lord. We just here for a few days upon the earth. And we ain't come to stay here only. We got to leave here. And we got to get our life lined up with God. If we plan it on getting in the kingdom of God. Yeah. I stopped by to tell you that we ain't going to get there any kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. St. John 15 said, I am the back. Mm -hmm. And my father is the hook. Yeah. And we are the branch. Yeah. And he said, if you don't abide in me, uh -huh. then I'm not in you. In other words, we got to put Jesus Christ first in our life yeah. and in our heart. We got to show love toward one another. Yeah. All this hatred and backbiting and fighting among one another. Yeah. God ain't pleased. God ain't pleased with it. Time for us to get our house. In order. I know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work my way into the kingdom. I tell them all the time, you know, people say a good life. They talk a good life. But you better live the life. Because all of us got to stand before the judgment. We got to stand before the maker. 
And I'm glad, I'm glad that man can't judge us. Can't put us no place. But the one that we got to stand before is the right judge. They gonna right there tell you where you belong. Let me tell you, he gonna tell you brother it's good or bad. We got to stand before him. Because the word there, the work that I've done.
Family, get your house in order. We got to leave here. Yeah. One thing the Bible tells us: no man know the day or the hour we leave. That's why I say, Revelation 14, chapter 10, heaven is a prepared place. You can't wait to the last minute and say, Lord, have mercy. You got to work on it. Why? You got a chance of approaching a healthy strength. But one day, you not, might not be able to pray or call on the Lord. One day, when we get ready to leave, we don't know when, don't know where. The Lord gonna knock at our door. But one thing, I want you to be prepared and be ready for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yeah. 